Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. If you enjoy any of today's entertainment, don't forget to smash that lovely like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and getting the video out to more people. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded. If you're looking for a free trading platform on which to trade your stocks and shares, there's links in the description down below where you get a free share worth up to £200 for depositing a small amount. Free trade only requires a £1 deposit. Now, on with the show. I've been asked where to put my money. After all, every pound is a hard-earned pound. Now, I simply say to him, I diversify. Now, we, I get asked about when I'm in the UK, why I put in US. Well, if we think how uh, over $600 billion of quantity of easing was done by the Americans, which equated to 1700 per person and $215 billion in the UK, which equated to 3200 per person. Now... That was shows the UK as being a bit more generous than the US. Now we uh, and so people when they look at that they say to me, "So why are you not investing in the UK then? You have no withholding tax." And there are people who I speak to who who are seasoned investors. Who will not invest in the US because of this because of the withholding tax well I say to them how traditionally my portfolio would have no more than tw I started my portfolio as all UK companies but then I noticed they didn't wouldn't grow enough I would get dividends, yes. I would get taxed on those dividends at the start by the company, by the brokerage, before we had the free trading platforms. And now we find out that this is the way we should be doing it. We should hold no more than 20% of UK stocks in our portfolio and at least 30% of US stocks portfolio to have a diversified portfolio now I'm not a financial advisor I'm just some idiot on the internet so uh, it doesn't mean you should listen to me as a matter of fact you shouldn't listen to me you will lose all your money if you do listen to me but I'm just giving you my advice now people say to me but look at all the protests that are going on around the world all the protests in America there's sure to be a second wave. And when you think that 22 of the states in America have recorded spikes in COVID-19 cases or Rony Rona for our friends across the pond. Uh, and with what's happened in Beijing, another outbreak, People were hoping that a vaccine will be provided. It's funny, there was no cash wrapped around that one. Or no stocks or shares issue. Now, when you look at the claims for unemployment insurance, it's... How much it's risen just over the past 12 weeks compared to the Great Recession. And bear in mind, a recession is when a GDP goes negative twice. Although now they're saying they should add more metrics to it. You've had the Fed. In 
adding junk bonds to your shopping list you've had so about this and you've seen the Fed's uh, balance sheet growing by three trillion dollars uh, and its high has been seven trillion dollars people say to me is another crash coming and I say to them uh, even if a crash does come look what's happened this time around there's been a crash and we've cut they've come out of it stronger than before so long term is still doesn't matter we look for good company stocks that will we look for good company stocks that will give us long-term outlook and we look for them at a good discount now if we can't find that then there's nothing wrong with taking a profit remember what I said before and it's still relevant today that no matter what a certain guy is doing we have to protect our long term money growth and no one ever went broke by taking a profit a quote by Jesse Livermore which is true now if you want to take a profit in preparation of a crash then then do bank a bit of money I have I've always been a long-term trader but recently it seems I'm more like a swing trader but that's just because but that is just because my stocks have hit their price points their buying and selling price points now in my next video I will be opening up my portfolio well one of them I hold five portfolios just to show you how it's been doing I'll show you a glitch with trading 212 as well now I will I hope to see you there and if you've enjoyed any of today's entertainment don't forget to smash that lovely like button if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you in the next video goodbye